I'm back everybody. Deadpool 25 has arrived after a long wait and to be honest I'm extremely shocked because um yeah I saw this start with and yeah so by looks at it we've got the vault variant of the tote bot, a uh, paint variant of the tape bot and I guess a sticker variant of the tape bot over here and also we've got the explosive tote bot over there but I don't, I'm not even sure what this guy is, like a pounder maybe? Looks like maybe, or maybe he's been able to magnetize things. I'm not sure what these are. The one on his head and one on his bomb. Anyway, calling all mechanics. We are back. After seven last few months in the content mines, it's time for us to report on our latest progress. While we love to show off details on the next chapter, it's getting increasingly harder to do so without spoilers. But rest assured, you'll get to see all of it on release. That's why we decided to do a bot reveal special for a stead blog instead. So here's a peek at just some of the new bots. <laughs> Start off with the yellow top bot. Pounder. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm guessing we're going to want a spud gun to kill these guys. <laughs> I think because, um, yeah, like they're constantly going up and down. Wait, what? They're stunned. How are they stunned? They hit the ground too much, so they get stunned? Or they hit something hard, too hard? I don't know. Or is it because something fell on its head? In this one. Not for sure. Just out of curiosity, is there anything in this scene? Um, the toilet doors. Those we cannot make. I'm pretty sure we cannot make those. I don't think there's any way you can actually get them. So, no. Oh, we also got wedge, wedges. I wish I could pause this. But yeah, we got wedges in the background. We've got the the bathroom or stall door. I don't know what the little blocks are called. I think that's a vent cover falling down, isn't it? Yeah, a few new interactables. So does that make you rag though, or is that just something falling on the player's head in that one? Yellow tow bot. Get ready to readjust your base walls or crank your vehicle's engine a bit higher when you see this new bot jumping into the scene. Originally designed as a fully autonomous power tra trawler, the old tow bot has since gone renegade. Now it stomps it way across the planet, eager to find any mechanic it sees, no matter how many ceilings and floors it has to smash in the process. So, um, yeah, initial, initial guesses on it being... I don't know what it's called. It's not a jackhammer, but... It, it's like a jackhammer. It's like a flat-headed jackhammer yeah, at construction sites. It's used to pound the ground. It is I don't know what it's called, but you do that to reinforce the ground so it doesn't give way. Let me put something heavy on top. Now we've got the blue top pot. I'm guessing from <laughs> shark fin on the back of it. I'm guessing this is like an underwater miner. This is what his original purpose was for. Oh gosh, it's like squid. <laughs> okay, that's actually moving pretty... Well, not quickly, but like, pretty quick. I doubt they're not... I don't think they're sprinting currently, but like, that's keeping up with tight well with the mechanic. Wait, wait, it can one that quickly and land? Oh gosh. Pluto bot, just when you thought it was just safe to get back in the water, originally designed for offshore drilling, the blue tote bot has since decided to become an underwater torpedo instead. To make it matters worse, it can also move fast enough on land to catch up with any mechanic that adorates it. So watch when you drive. Oh gosh. Red tote bot. Obviously we had a bit about this before. Oh gosh. That is terrifying. <laughs> so as soon as it sees you... It immediately starts detonating by the looks of it. <laughs> the face it makes when it gets. <laughs> it's put stupid legs up. <laughs> okay, they're shooting the bot there. I wonder if you can shoot the actual explosives to make them detonate quicker. Oh. Actually, a nice vehicle this is. 
any I'm trying to think of any parts that don't belong. I think one died and dropped something there, but it's hard to tell what it is. Can I zoom in? Oh, enhance. <laughs> Joking. Um, yeah, there's an item there. I don't know if that's corn. I don't think it's corn, because there's like corn. It'll be a corn plant there. Is there or is that a corn plant? I'm not sure. Um, other than that. Oh, that one dropped a head. <laughs> okay, so we can. So they will drop the heads. I'm just generally trying to see if there's any like, parts on the vehicle which are new. That's an interesting way to do the wheels. Fun. Anyway, Red Tobot. We teased this clanker before, but we never shown him in action until now. Originally designed to clear away mine shafts using explosives. Some of the Red Tobots have since wandered up to the surface. When they encounter a mechanic, they will ignite their payload before rushing at the target. And they won't stop until they reduce their target or anything that's standing in the way to smithereens. Those are those like half bowels? They are, it might be off of the warehouse roof. I think there's something up there, a similar in shape. So apparently they broken it up to the surface. Does that mean we're gonna might see them a bit sooner than on the ground even then? So the green variant of tape up by looks it. This one loves its stickers. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, we got a screenshot of this room before. We might have had this screenshot. I, I feel like I recognise this screenshot. Don't remember if it was from the last dead blog or an odd one they'd done at some point. But we did get, like, scenery with, like, a bunch of fauna. And these all various. Green teapot. You already seen this little bot on our Twitter? Yes, that's pretty where I saw it. Once this unassuming clanker would only bubble wrap... Fruit and veggies, until the latest film update, it made it one uh, amok. Armed with a roll of weaponized bubble plastic, it might not pack much of a punch by himself, but a bunch of them can ruin any mechanics today. So, is this like an easier version of the tape bot? It's bubble wrap. <laughs> Does it do less damage than tape bots? <laughs> like the blue ones? I hope so. Okay, this guy looks amazing. The now I'm thinking about it, if he shoots a wall, would it break it or would it paint it? Just saying. Hmm. Got another one. This is a definitely new background one. Got movement. Oh, it's like sticky cube. Also, they're showing off the. The rock costume. I think there was like three designs that they were debating on. They showed the community a while back. It looks like they must have picked one. Yellow tape up. An elegant bot for a civilized age. The yellow tape up was perfectly harmless. Designed to keep everything neat and tidy in storage by painting labels with its specific four colored ink. Following the disastrous filmer update that made it one amok. However, this cranker has found a new purpose. Now, it uses the same sorting ink to hurt and slow down any mechanic it sees. Okay, there's one thing that's sort of been pointed out here. Disastrous firmware update. There's been a lot of mention of this firmware update to a lot of the bots. The current story doesn't suggest why the bots are gone rogue. But if there's a firmware update, like who made the update? Is there like an evil mechanic out there? Is that what I'm hearing? -na 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 -na. No, that's just a theory. But yeah, they have mentioned firmware update a lot. For these bots. This is just more screenshot. Gosh. Do you <laughs> uh, I don't know, is that a battery? It's roughly like box shaped like a battery. I'm just going to say in this zoom. Um. But yeah, they got these are like the same plants. They look very similar to the plants around the chemical ponds, like, like yellow and pinkish flowers, aren't they? Oh, blue tote bots are down there as well. I'm actually sort of happy they're like blue, green tote bots and that. <laughs> it means you don't have to remember eight individual names easily. Just go off the colour. Oh, if we get close, okay, it does that. Ah, 
Hold on. Yeah. I'm not sure if this is part of the underground or... I mean, no, there's obviously structures on the ground, but like, this looks like it could be anywhere. Like in a warehouse. Wait a sec. I saw an item drop. Wait for it to come back. Guys, let's suck. Uh, it's component kit. It was component kit. Okay. Draw Labs. Ruins ones are great, but we've been working hard on populating the game world with additional cool places to explore and loot during the course of your survival mode adventure. One of these places are the underground grow lab. Fit the burst with green and yellow tape bots. These little dungeons offer a sign combat and some soup and some cool plunder at the end of for those who winter inside of them. What the heck? What the what the what the what the what the collector? I think. No, oh, let's see. Are these like wood collectors between grids? Yes. Ord Prospector. Get more out of your ore with the latest addition to the game. The Ord Prospector, a machine designed both for mechanics that love to build all made crafting chains as well as those who like to do things manually. With its help, you'll be able to filter the vining ground, ground gravel produced by the ore crusher in order to retrieve rare metals like gold and more. So we're getting gold. Mm -hmm. Second, where was it? Ground gravel by the ore crusher. The ore crusher is that right there. It's not the resource collector or resource cluster. That's like the when we get a start. The ore crusher is meant for the new ores. So that I guess is also gonna make gravel, which are then essentially again filtered and washed, which is why there's a water pump there. I don't know why there's a water can though. Also, also there's a bit of a cave in behind it. Uh, those lights are new. Okay, next one. What the? I see a clock. And the alarm clock's there. I've got a lot of that's paint cans only in the warehouse. There's a few things I'm seeing from the warehouse in here. It's like the same veggie burgers with I baguette. Towers. I feel like I'm overlooking something here. Why is there stained glass? Reflections? Are there, are there reflections or something? New glass! Oh, that's it. We haven't just been working on scrap mechanic content. After introducing the new and improved line system we mentioned in the latest devlog, an elite team of graphic engineers have been working on updating the game's visuals according to modern standards. This time we're excited to introduce the newest glass shader, which allows in-game glass to shine and distort like the real thing. So your buildings, vehicles and other creations can look better than ever before. And that's just one of the graphical updates we've got in the works. Ooh. Oh yeah, could get like oh yeah, actually acts like a magnifying glass a little bit. It's all distorts magnifying glass, but it's like distorting that. The demo we balance on item max. We've also been working hard on rebalance survival mode gameplay, specifically the craft recipes and how items are obtained during the course of the game, so the gameplay can be flow better than ever before. Our latest addition to scrap mechanics features are somatics. When found, these collectibles items will allow your craft pot to create additional items. Furthermore, we've been focusing on changing the way farming raids work, while we work in the existing hunger and hydration bar to be less annoying. More on these later. Ah, so by the looks of it, this is like the schematic for like the the fresh sign. We got got unlocked here. That's cool. Got a moment. You can as soon as you get the craft pot, you got like. Everything unlocked. <laughs> like the faster, for example. <laughs> walk. And the walk costume. Walk outfit. Interesting, the wackiest outfit we made so far. The walk outfit. Complete with a corn cob bean backpack. It might not be up for parental regulation standards, but it's sure to welcome a change from all that stuffy workwear. What do you think? 
Will you book this outfit? Let us know. I feel like I put this on, a lot more bots are going to go after me. <laughs> Next chapter update. At the risk of sounding like a broken bot, while we still don't have an exact release date for the next chapter, we are still aiming for this year. It's worth mentioning that the next chapter has turned into a behemoth of an update with a ton of new content. We will remain confident that it will be worth the wait. We know that it can be frustrating and boring, but we have to make sure it's great. That's it for the dev blog mechanics. Stay tuned for the next one. For all the latest news, follow us on Twitter. Okay. I think this is done in of an update where I keep adding on to. <laughs> Stars we actually are doing up the the blue box. I don't think they've uh, I don't think we're gonna really get those until the water, water update, which was saved for a later chapter. So it looks like we're actually getting those in chapter two. Just a little surprising. Three of these I don't really think we'll get till later. But, um, yeah. Alright, that's everything for today, and, uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye!